Hey guys. Um, I realized kind of like for all of these videos, not not all of these videos, but like some of these videos, I've been a little bit stoic. Um, and like I always say, like if you really knew me, but if you really knew, <laughs> I uh, I'm a lot more livelier in person, which I would think uh, if it's not a calm, a calming sense. Uh, why do I say that? Uh, this video is off the top of the head too, but um, I say that because I really try to, I really try to understand what it means to be at peace and what it means to be at calm or calming peace. Um, but I also do realize that people are trying to understand what it means to be stable, uh, which I think at this point it's been a little bit hectic and a little bit crazy. Um, Cause peace and stability probably have a lot of conjoining factors, but it's probably not what you would expect if you're looking to get into peace because you know the world ain't all peaceful. Um, it's what you provide for yourself uh, in the most selfish standard uh, that things be do become a little bit more peaceful. Um, but if you're somebody that's willing to go through the thick and the thin, sacrifice, work for your, work for what you got, work for your family, work for your people that you're trying to provide, you know what I mean? Or just trying to find your own peace, trying to find peace that you feel like you're fully responsible for because you're not draining anybody's energy. You're not being toxic. You're not stealing anybody's energy, uh, and you're not freaking. You're not developing things that make you want to say, "Hey, I'm I'm just I'm going to be just like you." But you know, when you're somebody that really uh, goes through thick and thin, and you just you know, you just pretend like you know that person didn't help you, you know. So I think um, in this case, there are parts of my nature that parts of my acquired nature I guess at this point because I'm a little bit older a little bit wiser um, I've grown to a certain point where I felt like I've had to make uh, decisions that people weren't so keen with people didn't want to make but yeah you know it's in the confines of a space that you don't ever want to be in where you have to say like this is where I got to find my peace in the confines of space um, but past that, it's not that much of a difference, I don't think. I think it's like, I think it's like, um, I think it's not too much of a, not too much of a, like, it's almost kind of like a wayward thought process as opposed to like what you want to uh, really, like, actually promote. Um, because I think people do believe in a thought process, which I think almost to a certain extent is believing in prayer. Uh, but that's if you can pray with all your soul, might, ability, love, you know, so that that takes some time and training. Um, but you, you're going to want to have to, like, be able to apply that one day. Right. Because I feel like your thought process and your belief is going to go into something anyways, eventually. Um, but the, the hard part is for a person to think that, you know, their belief is stronger than anybody else's belief just because they think it. Um, a lot of people require results and a lot of people require uh, identification of what happened through the process um so that part is also a difficult part to say that person is more stable than this person so let me emulate this person that's why I'm trying to you know take bits and pieces from everybody that's what you're going to hear a lot nowadays is because it's it's that diverse and it should be that open but um all i'm talking about is like you know what happens when that stability is broken because you're trying to take piece from bits and pieces from everybody little person or every big person and then you go okay now it's me and now i get to do whatever the heck i want because that's the that's the matriculation process matriculation process that i'm going through too and i've seen it and i i've told a lot of people about my mistakes and my grandeur is and what my plans are and what my space is and what my mental peace is and what my soul is and what all that stuff and i've told bits and pieces of all that all over the place so it's like you're either looking at a whole bunch of swords or Voldemort. No, it's not like that. It's not those opposite things. But it's like it's it's like a whole bunch of uh, different paces and a whole bunch of different life forms. So it's like, how are you gonna keep all that stability? Well, some people look first 
first and foremost, look for the optimization of all the things that can make um, what requires you to do what, you know, is applicable in any kind of sense. And that's somebody that lay, not lays off, but somebody who does exactly what the truth says to do, a lot of good book says, and also just doesn't really involve themselves with um, uh, the nature of, you know, what is bad and good. Um, but you could take that a step further where you're fully optimizing is where you can change people's lives within the people that you felt like were sinning. But that is a very delicate matter. So I wouldn't want to tell you to go in that piece. But that's actually where the red line is for um, somebody that saved our planet once, twice, and quadrillion more times. But uh, to some people, that's an imaginary standard. So you want to kind of like pick out, see how that works for you. And then now it's me like, okay, I'm still trying to be a child through all this. <laughs> I'm still trying to be a kid because I seen that at the end of that line, you know, for the people that, you know, for the people that actually try to get through all the BS, try to actually do all it, do it all at once uh, without losing their minds, man, that person at the end of the day is like, is looking for that. Is looking for that. I kind of lost my thought of mind because I could say that it would be a really good approach to, you know, be always at peace with yourself and always trying to look for that. But when I'm trying to extend out the fact that the reason why I was so kitty all the time, the reason why I was so wanting to be like that is because at the end of the day, I haven't really found anything else that really measures up to it. Um, and regardless if you're strengthened by uh, all the limitless things, perhaps the opposite gender could provide for you or all the limitless things knowledge could provide for you, all the limitless things that money could provide for you. Um, I think all that really uh, starts with, you know, having that having that first realization that you're you're beyond peace, you're in doing of something. Uh, I did that for a while when I was like in my early 20s, uh, just saying this for general reasons. <laughs> but I, I think, uh, you know, being an existential <laughs> in my late 20s and being a, a hermit, nah, being in my frog state, my turtle sp state, space, um, the ball is still rolling, but it gets kind of difficult sometimes, and other times it's humongous. Like it's the energy level is, it's thundering and lightning, and, and it's uh, it's all kind of reasons of what you would expect from um, nonfiction, as opposed to, I mean, I mean, uh, fiction as opposed to nonfiction. When you're trying to look at nonfiction the whole time. But when the nonfiction is telling you that it's science fiction, then which one are you going to? Well, I'm trying to connect it all. Um, and, you know, it's always going to happen where you can uh, divide because what? Because you want a family and stuff. That's exactly what I wanted. But at the same time, I want my family to understand that you got a whole certain kingdom waiting for you. But what can you do at this moment? Son of man or man? Son of man or man? Son of man or man? That's the question. So I think, uh, you know, those those choices, how you can provide. That's what the beautiful thing about God is. is like, you know, he put all those people in place. He put all those balancing systems in place. He put all the equity in place. He put all the nature in place. He put the regional borders in place. You know what I mean? We didn't do it. We just, we thought we did it, but it was, it was so... It is so quite amazing that now the fact that I think I'm acting, it's, it's not. It's like I can be whoever I want to be and it, it'll still be me because um, I felt like, yeah, I put in all that work and I put in all that constructive criticism and I put in all of that disappointing factor and I put in all of that energy and I put in something <laughs> because I wanted to say that you know this matters to me as well it doesn't matter to me if you if you want to if you want to look better if you want to have more power over somebody if that's your if that's the if that's the thing you're going for that is the thing you're going for first of all I say good luck to all that but secondly I'm gonna say good luck even more but thirdly 
you really don't want to be that person. That's not the greatest. That's not the greatest. It's not the greatest. And it won't be the greatest because, yeah, you want to you want to go for people at spots that are, you know, a little bit higher than you or people that you look up to. But jacking spots ain't. Nah, man, it's not it's not applicable in the sense, the reality of what we're talking, about, the universal reality that we're talking about. It's not adding up. And if it doesn't add up, um, I really think that God has his quantity and his quality uh, provision. Um, but this is where I'm getting existential because you, the, you, once you get the ball rolling to any kind of development, you're going to start to think of end game thoughts. You're going to start to think of what disposition am I in? Um, let me just fold back because... Let me just fall back because, you know, I'm not that important. So, uh, you know, let me just be at peace with what I have, what I got. That's what I actually really wanted for a lot of people is like, because if you're not really trying to get in the way of other people, you're not really trying to, you know, ill advise any other people. You're not really trying to uh, take from them or anything like that. Uh, you know, taking something in, in a situation where you're taking it because it's part of an industrial game or you're taking it because that's what you need to do as a sword or you're taking it because, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's big differences to that. Um, one thing I always relied back to that my father taught me, the good book taught me, uh, you're going to have consequences for your actions. You got to understand those consequences for your actions. Shoot, man, some of the consequences hit me so bad. <laughs> I understand I understand where I am at my peace and I understand where I am as I delivered my life daily life but you can't take that away from me if I'm not the person that is quite literally your enemy I thought I was the person that was everything that you were hoping for but it's not a frustration as much as I would like it to be I'm just saying once you open that that unparalleled door um, I've seen where my team goes and I see how it it develops um if this was all backed up by lies then it is all backed up by lies and I'm deceiving you but if I could tell you that I was able to accomplish things that not a lot of other people would have accomplished without the teachings of the good book without the love then you don't have to listen to me but if I'm telling you all this and I've, I've come to a point where I'm like, man, this is the child we're talking about. Like, this is the child. You know what I mean? So who cares if it's me? You know, who cares if it's me? There will be another child and that child will be able to represent a lot of the good things about what the universe, what God, whatever you want to label it as, your creator, your parent, your your science fictional theme book telling you, you came from evolution, which I'll be it. I'm not even really questioning that because God can do some spectacular things, but you know, <laughs> let's just keep it foundational. So that's what I'm saying is like, you can start entering any sort of development to detract what the truth is. And then it becomes hell bent. I'm not into that. <laughs> I'm not. And if you try to keep on being into that, well, I don't want things to stop. And I'm not saying that's me, but I'm saying, look, man, there's there's a whole bunch of commotion and commitment involved. Um, and people understand that there's a, they were looking for something more than just, you know, clueless, a clueless, a clueless. They were looking for peace here, work, work, work. And then you find that Live it, you're, that find that beautiful small piece and then it becomes the mustard seed becomes developed and those things oh man I will go back to that a hundred out of a hundred times um a hundred out of a hundred times I'll go back to that all the time I would work for that all day um it's just you know when things become colluded excuse me when things collide and things become convoluted and you try to uh, recommend certain things based off uh, a notion of a notion, then that's when uh, things aren't so childlike anymore. And and then I'm going, okay, you know, we, we had it. We always had it. 
and we, you know, even if I was weak, I know I've been weak. I've been weak. I've been so weak sometimes. Uh, and don't get her twisted either. I've been so weak sometimes. I felt like it was the weeks. It was what is the week? I'm just trying to get through this week. You know what I mean? Like I have been so weak sometimes. But there have been plenty of times when the wings of an eagle have brought me so high um, and that have, you know, I've gotten the fruition of the good fruit so much. And whether that's through people or whether that's through the providing of people's talents or whether that's, you know, just me being by myself with whatever I got, those things, you know. It just it just happens, um, and immediately you start finding you start finding sparks. You start finding, yeah, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta walk out here. I gotta I gotta tell him this. I gotta do that. Like it could have been like this, and it will be like this. But um, I'm just saying, it's hard to find that. It's it's not hard, but it's 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 a pressing point when you're trying to find that stability. Uh, when I'm trying to find that stability. Uh, when I think I'm considering a whole bunch of different other things because I know what is trying to pull from me and I know how to, I know how to not pull, but I know how to communicate to that. Um, and it's not a pull anymore. It's like, I know how to communicate to what is, uh, being treated and mistreated. And I understand that that, that can, uh, that can give a few options readily, readily available. Um, but it's responsiveness that I think I'm almost trying to match the negative part of what is going on. That gets crazy too for me. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to hold on my stresses sometimes because I'm telling you, man, you go hold fast. When I was at my best, and I still feel like I'm at my best when I hold fast. So please do that. Um, but you know, it does get kind of uh, what is the word? You know, going in circles. That lax part is uh, the things that I was always trying to defeat. Um, how do you get past that? How do you get past it? And I think that's what a lot of people try to defeat too. Um, more so than anything is like, how do you get past the repetition? And then, you know, the warranting of, you know, the small little indecency start to pop up in your head. Like, you know, that's over hours and hours of, you know, just, you know, just working repetitional things. I wouldn't be mad at that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad. I would just be, I would just say, you know, find your good place. Mm-hmm going back to peace and the stability thing i always say go back to your good place understand how much range you have understand how much range you can have with other people um and then understand you know like that range is is gonna last you for a very long time if you can uh if you can make sure that it stays consistent first of all but it can last you a long time if you um if you if you are at peace first and foremost uh, but a lot of people, I think a lot of people don't realize sometimes that, that stability um, could be a rock for a lot of people, but there can also be um, not a stability that's kind of like crazy or all over the place, but it's making sure that you can um, have, you know, have your outrights first, because you don't want, um, what I mean by that? I mean that you're going to have your own personal processing and then what can I, what can I insight from another person I'm talking to so, so easily that it'll come in my head? Uh, at this point, usually uh, we like to make it service level that is in the right space. Um, but that's the thing. You can't really understand it about another person unless if you're right there with them, you know, speaking to them uh, in not perfect harmony, but in that stability, stable harmony. Uh, but this is just, you know, me walking through. I'm not saying much. I'm just saying sometimes that uh yeah that i would want to be more what i was like back in the day um but that opens up for me if you were to find that peace yourself um and and i hate the fact that (laughs) i'm not a big fan that it's a matching thing uh it's a matching process because it's uh it can't be so much of a match um, unless if it keeps on going higher, uh, so like keeps on getting a little bit, uh, progressively greater. Um, but those aren't my expectations as well. It, it's not the throughput of, oh man, you with him, you're going to just, you know what I mean? But 
it's gonna be uh I think what I saw and what I recommended already um, from what I'm fully aware of uh, that I'm slowly understanding more and more and more and more with this 2020 vision. No, but uh, it's uh, not so much I should be joking around about. But, you know, you want to have um, that thorough put knowledge that, or you don't want to have that thorough put knowledge that it's, you know, sometimes it's just a mistake, but sometimes you got to, you got to roll with the punches, but more so, uh, I think a lot of times it's not that curiosity kill the cat. I think, uh, I think when people are pulling from you, understand what's really going on. Um, it's, um, to me, one of the recommendations I can make is sometimes it is a pride thing, but I, I don't want to say that recommendation. That's every once in a while. Uh, it's like sometimes it could be, it could be what you. Sometimes it's more like what 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 has gifted you, and then you kind of like have a have an agreement with what um or what you can uh, represent as well. Um, but that one's difficult too. That one's real difficult. But I, you know, I I think um. And then when you do have moments of clarity, um, I would like it for it to be clear. I wouldn't like it to be, oh, this is, this is, this is, uh, this is like, uh, uh, I don't want to deal with it. But, you know, it's not that you don't have to like say, hey, look, this is what I'm gathering. I'm saying, look, I think... When we're talking as far as range goes and as far as peace goes, like stability, range, um, that can mean so many different things. You know what I mean? Because like you, you could be one person sitting, I could be sitting here talking to you and thinking about somebody else while they think about, you know, you as well. But they're talking to somebody else, too. But, you know, you know what aligns with what can be ventured off in that stance, I guess. I think I'm talking talk more algorithmly of like what could happen, what would happen. Um, so I guess, you know, stability does have chances with like uh, how systems are built up and stuff like that. But um, yeah, peace is just a different location. I think sometimes peace is ju just a location that doesn't exist without um without knowing yourself first, but with uh, with applying everything that you are at the very given moment, but at the same time, understanding what happened to you in the past, uh, but also understanding that your future is much brighter and that, you know, things can't really happen uh, where, you know, it's, you're gonna have to make and do and have and try and supply and demand, and, you know, it's like almost I'm like jabbering freestyles right now, but it's like if you're gonna have some sort of order of it, um, you can kind of collide your your thought process with your sentences, and you start colliding your sentences with your actual knowledge, and then you could do what your knowledge is because you're part of a full on. If you take a NBA player for a fact, like you know they're the best at being basketball players, but you know they have things that they learned every day and stuff like that that they can apply and then they could realize hey look i got this resource that they, they, they do, 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 do. and then they you know and they do this and then they and then they, they got kids you know at a school got scholarships like all of that like those are things that i would look forward to and those are things that i hope for um that i wish people could accomplish based off the fact that they know where their piece is if they know where their own piece is then I can't get that tough on them when they um, uh, when they have to, you know, when they have to do their primary job. Um, because for me, when I look at it, I love to write still, and this I feel like this is part of writing is being able to communicate, being able to uh, tell your stance on your own particular story. That is kind of difficult, and it's uh, it's almost like I want to warrant like, you know, the people that came before me and like what could happen been if I didn't choose the choices that I made and what would have happened and you know how how did all this happen anyways in the first place because why am I this 
Where is it? Why am I? Why am I actually in existence? Um, should I be in the clouds? <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like I think all of this is. Uh, it's not diluted. It's like it's come to a piece of point where it's like I can finally exist and tell my story. And I could get responses that I felt I feel like are on a on a on a better level, on a good level, on a really nice level that you know people won't find as secure about because maybe they're not at peace as 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 for themselves and that I first thought in in my whole supplication of what my own dreams and realities are in my own realm. Because I don't I don't want I don't want you to really be a part of me if if I can't really have confidence in you. Um, that was, that was just what my thought process was in, in that end game stance, like long down the line, if I was still the same kid I was when I was like 11, but you know, things change. And I went from loving Pokemon to Dragon Ball when I was, when I moved from Cali to Minnesota. So, (laughs) so things change very, very quickly. Um, I, I remember when I, I remember all my church friends were on, like it was, it wasn't split, but it was like, you know, people were watching Dragon Ball, people were watching Pokemon. Which one you like better? I have my Game Boy and stuff, but but like, you know, I I had um, I had kind of slowly, kind of slightly dissed Dragon Ball because I was like, what the heck is all that? <laughs> I dissed it, and I was like, I don't, I don't need all that. It's not me. It's not me. And then I realized who I am, and I realized what that is, and I realized, you know, that's. That's like the best part of it. <laughs> so it's like, where am I at this point? Um, I think being at peace is what everyone strives for ultimately. Because even if you look at the bad characters, they're trying to strive for peace for somehow, just so they can live in peace of their own deranged, you know, stance. But hopefully, you know, I'm not that in that same situation. Hopefully, I'm not secluded because. You know, I, I feel like people have dissed me so bad that I want to dismember them. No, nah, it's like, hopefully I can consider what happened based off all the tribulation factors of, you know, what's being pulled, whose company is who, what takes you, what takes you, what takes you, what takes you. Um, how did that all happen in the beginning? Uh, does this even mean anything for me if I'm not getting anything back? Oh, I'm getting something back. Oh, okay. This is really set up for me to live out a life that nobody can really live out because it's my own personal grace that I get to have because I have faith and belief and the fact that I can't really stop you know what I mean like this is how it was built you can't stop me you can't stop who I am but it's not like I have that victory stance where I'm I'm, I'm all in that like I don't really have to say all that (laughs) you don't really have to be a part of me if I don't want to be a part of you so and those are divide. Those are divisible words, um, and so that's why I'm not really ever gonna say that. It's not me pushing you back. I'm saying, look, man, we don't have to go through that path because that path is that path is dirty. That path is d- disastrous, and that path is not that great um, at all. So I'm just saying, like, this is my piece, and and if you, I don't see. That's all it does. If you ever start talking about messing with my piece. I start getting a little antiquated. I start getting a little bit mad, but you know that's just how the ball rolls sometimes. So for me, I just say, look, you, all you gotta do sometimes is uh, care for care for the abilities of what you are first, because you know that soul that you have, I think, is driven by the fact that you do care for other people and you want other people to sur- survive and succeed. So it's like you see that commonality. But you want to make yourself different, too, because you know you are good looking. You know you are funny. You know you are talented. So how are you going to differentiate yourself? You know, but it doesn't have to be those two. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be a, a Pokemon or Dragon Ball. It doesn't have to be like that. It could be, hey, man, you you ask, you ask Goku. <laughs> you're not ask Ge- <laughs> Or you ask Kakarot. You're not. You're not. But you know what I mean? So it's like you have... <laughs> You gotta have your own. 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 You gotta have your own, man. You gotta have your own, alright? 29 minutes. Peace out, bro.